here on Morning Rush. I'm Holly Furfer. Let's send it over to Veronica De La Cruz for Scripps News Live. Veronica? Hey there, Holly. Great to see you. Hope you had a great weekend. All right, we're following several major stories today for you, starting with the House Judiciary Committee hearing underway in New York right now. House Republicans take their show on the road, holding a public hearing in New York on crime. It is really troubling that Americans' taxpayers' dollars are being used to come here on this junket to do an examination of the safest big city in America. The abortion pill still on the market for now, when the Supreme Court can make a final decision on the drug for 40 million American women. SpaceX forced to scrub today's launch of its high-tech giant rocket, what it can do, and when we can expect the company to try again. Plus, Netflix blowing it. Millions logging in to see its live Love is Blind reunion left hanging. We'll explain. Scripts News Live begins right now. Happening now, the House Judiciary Committee holding a highly publicized hearing on crime, but it is the venue, not necessarily the topic, that has so many people talking right now. Hello to you. Great to see you. Welcome to your Monday edition of Scripps News Live. Hope you had a terrific weekend. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. Let's go ahead and give you a live look right now at that hearing that's underway in Manhattan right now. Committee Chair Jim Jordan making it clear today's testimony is aimed at Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and what he is calling Bragg's, quote, pro-crime anti-victim policies. This hearing comes as Bragg and Jordan are already at odds over the Manhattan DA's prosecution of Trump over alleged hush money payments. Bragg sued Jordan last week after the congressman, who is the chair of the House Judiciary Committee, subpoenaed Mark Pomerantz. Pomerantz is the former Manhattan DA who once led that investigation. Scripps News Congressional Correspondent Nate Reed is in New York. He's been following the hearing all morning, and he joins us now live by phone. All right, Nate, you've been in that room. Um, what more can you tell us about what you're hearing? Why are Republicans holding this hearing this morning? Well, Veronica, Congress really kind of went on the road this morning. They're up here in New York. Republicans and Democrats really have a vastly different view of what's happening in that room behind me right now. For Republicans, this is trying to look into what they view as pro-crime, anti-victim policies by the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. For Democrats, they view this as a politically motivated hearing in order to pressure Alvin Bragg. It's worth noting that right here, the hearing room, less than two blocks away from Bragg's office in downtown Manhattan. Jim Jordan laid out, though, why he's holding this hearing at the start. Take a listen. We're here in Manhattan. The scales of justice are weighed down by politics. For the district attorney, justice isn't blind. It's about looking for opportunities to advance a political agenda, a radical political agenda. Rather than enforcing the law, the DA is using his office to do the bidding of left-wing campaign funders. At today's hearing, mostly uh, uh, victims of violent crime in New York City and members of their families who tried to say that uh, in New York City and uh, New York State, uh, Democrats are largely the party that has been in power here for the last several decades, that they've done a bad job at uh, uh, prosecuting victims of violent crime, and that the current policies by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg are not helping them and their families' cause at getting justice. Democrats, though, saying that those uh, Republican arguments are effectively a political prop. Yeah, and Nate, if you can, I just wanted to go ahead and take a deeper dive into exactly what they're saying here. We understand that they're saying uh, that this is politically motivated. Uh, but what are they doing about the issue exactly? So, uh, look, it, it, from the perspective of Democrats, this is not only a politically motivated hearing, but this is an attempt to try and intimidate the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bryant, whose office is less than two blocks away. He, of course, uh, just indicted former President Trump with uh, nearly 30, uh, 40 counts of uh, felony charges over those uh, supposed falsified business payments um, to the porn star Stormy Daniels in the lead up to the 2016 election. Uh, he uh, was charged with falsifying business practices and making uh, improper payments uh, through his uh, uh, political campaign. For Democrats, though, they're making clear that they don't think that Republicans actually care about the issue of violent crime. Rather, this hearing is an uh, opportunity for them to hold this hearing in close proximity to the Manhattan DA's office 
Some of them went as far as just saying that Republicans not only do not care about addressing the issue of crime and are doing this uh, hearing as effectively a stunt, but accused the witnesses who they brought uh, here to uh, Lower Manhattan of taking part in a political, uh, excuse me, acting as political props. Let's listen. claim to have negative information about Mr. Trump. To make these payments, they set up shell companies, and they made yet more false statements, including, for example, in AMI, American Media Incorporated's business records. One of the three people that they paid to keep quiet was a woman named Stormy Daniels. Less than two weeks before the... I think that was the uh, incorrect soundbite there. But basically, uh, there was a Democrat, David Cicilline, a Democrat from Rhode Island, uh, who said that this was not about a Republican uh, sincere interest in finding solutions to crime, but rather uh, the Republicans' agenda to earn, in his words, the admiration and support and good wishes of the former president of the United States. Of course, uh, the uh, accusation of political interference in this hearing uh, is casting somewhat of a cloud over the fact that we are just uh, less than two blocks from Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office. Uh, we're in about the third hour of this hearing, Veronica. There's no signs that it's slowing down anytime soon. Though so today is the first day back for House Republican leadership from their two-week Easter recess. Members in this hearing room are expected to return to Washington later today and get underway as they hit 100 days in leadership of the 118th House of Representatives. In just moments ago, Nate, I know that you tried to play some sound uh, from, from one of the Democrats there, and we do have that sound once again. Um, Nate, bring us up to speed one more time with what we're about to hear. Let me just say, I want to thank all the witnesses, including the, the victims of crime. I fear that you are being used for a political purpose despite your, your sincerity. Please spare me this suggestion that this is about a sincere interest in finding solutions to crime. This is about your agenda to earn the admiration and support and good wishes of the former president of the United States. This is typical with politically charged hearings. We are really seeing two separate hearings underway here. Democrats are working with one narrative where they believe that Republicans are holding this hearing because of our proximity to Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and their belief that this is effectively to punish him and intimidate him over his indictment of former President Trump. Republicans saying that this is to highlight Alvin Bragg's uh, 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 less than stellar performance at dealing with victims of violent crime in New York City. Entering the fourth hour of this hearing uh, in Lower Manhattan. Of course, we'll have a much more comprehensive update tonight on your evening debrief. All right, Nate, I know you've got to get back in there. Uh, we appreciate it. Nathaniel Reed reporting live from uh, right outside that hearing room there in New York. In the meantime, we have a major new development to tell you about in Dominion Voting Systems defamation lawsuit against Fox News. Opening statements in the trial were scheduled to get underway this morning, but the judge delayed them by one day. Scripps News national political correspondent Alex Miller has been covering the trial from the courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware. She has more now on what we know about this delay happening now. Hey there, Judge Eric Davis keeping it pretty quiet and pretty quick inside the courtroom this morning. We were in and out in less than five minutes. He did not give a reason for the delay of the trial, but said it's not unusual. No one from either side was in the courtroom gallery to hear the judge's remarks this morning. The trial, expected to last six weeks, would be the biggest in decades for a major news organization. Multiple outlets, including the Wall Street Journal, also owned by Rupert Murdoch, are reporting the two sides are in settlement talks. Dominion previously said it would not settle. Former Fox News anchor Gretchen Carlson implored the company to stay the course. There's a high bar to sue a media organization as outlets enjoy strong First Amendment protections, but a judge has already ruled that what was said on Fox's air was false. Now, a jury will decide whether it was done maliciously. The network has already had some of its dirty laundry aired, including texts from top network executives and top talent saying that they didn't believe what they were saying on air. Still, Fox took out a full page ad in the New York Times Monday to say it's the most trusted network. 
Fox is inclined to try to settle because many of those same executives, including Rupert Murdoch, could be forced to take the stand. Judge Davis has already launched an investigation into the outlet for falsely claiming what Murdoch's role in the company is. Fox has apologized, calling it a misunderstanding. Jury selection is expected to resume Tuesday at 9 a.m. Alex Miller, Scripps News, Wilmington, Delaware. All right, Alex Miller reporting for us. Alex, thank you. Now, access to the abortion pill, Mifepristone, is another closely watched legal battle that we're tracking for you right now. This drug is used in more than half of abortions in the United States, and it's still on the market. A Texas federal judge's ruling would have revoked its FDA authorization last Friday, but the Supreme Court put a hold on that ruling until Wednesday. The high court is considering the Texas judge's ruling and several conflicting rulings that followed. Scripps News correspondent Alexa Liaco walks us through what each ruling says and what could come on Wednesday when the high court makes the decision. Less than a year after the Dobbs decision reversed Roe v. Wade, more than a dozen states have banned or restricted abortions. In those states, abortions have decreased by 95%. And now, a ruling by a U.S. District Court judge in Texas could take this issue right back to the Supreme Court. The judge in Texas made a ruling to take abortion pill Mifepristone off the market. He ruled the FDA violated federal rules by approving Mifepristone, saying the FDA's initial approval of the drug was flawed because the agency did not adequately review safety risks. The safety profile on this drug uh, is good, if not better, than when it was originally reviewed because now it's been out in the marketplace. It's been used on some uh, 5 million um, patients. Uh, and so it has been extraordinarily well studied. For context, the drug has been approved for the past 23 years. And in 2020, it was used in more than half of abortions. That's according to the Guttmacher Institute. For now, an appeals court stopped the drug from being taken off the market. In the meantime, the Department of Justice and President Biden asked the Supreme Court to step in. Justices are expected to announce their decision to either keep the ruling on hold or to let it take effect by Wednesday. I think it's outrageous what the court has done relative to concluding that they're going to overrule the FDA whether it's done the or not. I think it's out of their main. And, uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. Adding to the uncertainty, a separate federal judge in Washington said Thursday the FDA cannot block Mifepristone's availability in 17 Democrat-led states suing to keep it on the market. New York state lawmakers say they will now stockpile the drug. So what does this mean for women? If the Supreme Court does not choose to act after Wednesday, doctors will be instructed to only prescribe mifepristone up to seven weeks of pregnancy, even though the FDA currently says the drug is approved for use up to 10 weeks. And women would be required to attend three in-person office visits to receive a medication abortion. And as Americans wait to hear from the Supreme Court, more states are working to pass legislation to limit abortions. You guys can start cheering, right? Florida passed a new, more restrictive six-week abortion ban. Governor Ron DeSantis signed it within hours. It's called the Heartbeat Protection Act, and it bans abortions after six weeks, with an exception to save the life of the pregnant woman. However, that exception requires written authorization from two different doctors. There's also exceptions for rape, incest, and human trafficking. In those cases, abortions are allowed up to 15 weeks. The other exception? for a fatal fetal abnormality that allows abortions anytime in the first or second trimester. But this six week ban is on hold, even though it's been signed into law until the state Supreme Court decides whether or not to uphold a 15 week abortion ban. If that ban is deemed unconstitutional, the six week ban is out as well. In this complicated legal battle, doctors urge women to speak up if they need help and to not be scared into silence by the legal back and forth. Patients and providers shouldn't be panicking day to day, trying to figure out what the law is today and how it's going to change tomorrow. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's causing a lot of confusion and chaos. And that was Alexa Liaco reporting there for us. We have much more to come in this hour of Scripps News Live for you. Protesters calling for criminal charges. Attorneys say that the shooting of a Missouri teenager was racially motivated. Also, police in Mexico searching for the gunman who stormed a resort and killed seven people, including a child. And the U.S. reeling from yet another weekend of gun violence. More than 300 people shot in just three days. 
Fox Gross News correspondent Axel Tercios is live with the details. We're back after this. Veronica, one of those shootings at a birthday party for a teenager. Now investigators are scrambling to find whoever killed four people. We'll have more details up next. Do you spend hours maintaining your gutters? Save that time with LeafGuard's maintenance-free system. Call 1-833-2-GUTTERS. Mesh filters sit on top of your gutters, building up debris and eventually clogging. Then they need to be cleaned too. Honestly, your home should have been built with LeafGuard gutters. LeafGuard's wraparound hood deflects debris and keeps water away from your home. The one-piece seamless system is strong, 20% thicker than average and built to last. Plus, LeafGuard is guaranteed to never clog for as long as you own your home. Right now, get a complete LeafGuard system for only $99 down, $99 a month, and $99 installation. You'll also receive a $100 Visa gift card with a free gutter inspection and in-home estimate. Damage from clogged gutters can cost you thousands. Never worry about clogged gutters again. Don't wait. You've still got time. Call 1-833-2-GUTTERS today. That's 1-833-2-GUTTERS. Municipal bonds don't usually get the media coverage the stock market does. In fact, most people don't find them all that exciting. But if you're looking for the potential for consistent income that's federally tax-free, now is an excellent time to consider municipal bonds from Henyon & Walsh. If you have at least $10,000 to invest, call and talk with one of our bond specialists at 1-800-465-8465. We'll send you our exclusive bond guide free with details about how bonds can be an important part of your portfolio. Henyon & Walsh has specialized in fixed income and growth solutions for 30 years and offers high quality municipal bonds from across the country. They provide the potential for regular income, are federally tax free and have historically low risk. Call today to request your free bond guide 1-800-465-8465. That's 1-800-465-8465. Ready to go? So, Cassie, you live full-time in an RV. I do. The pandemic hit. The American dream kind of changed. Because everybody was had time to kind of reevaluate. Everybody you meet is just down to earth. I want my kids to always know, like, I'm here for you. And you don't need a house yes. in the front yard to do that. And you don't need that to do that. See you down the road. RV Living on In Real Life. New episode Sunday night at 9, 8 central, only on Scripps News. It was yet another violent weekend across the United States. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there are more than 323 shootings from Friday to Sunday. Two of those shootings, both with multiple victims, rocked Alabama and Kentucky. A gunman killed four people at a girl's 16th birthday party in Dadeville, Alabama. 28 others were injured, including 15 who suffered from gunshot wounds. And then in Louisville, Kentucky, a gunman killed two people and wounded four more in a shooting at a public park. Scripps News National Correspondent Axel Tercios joins me now live. All right, Axel, sometimes I just... I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, let's go ahead and begin with the investigations into both of the cases that I just mentioned. Veronica, unbelievable. Another weekend tainted by gun violence. At this hour, investigators are scrambling to find the suspects and motives for these two shootings. And they're asking anyone with information to come forward. In the blink of an eye, a Sweet 16 birthday party turning into a mass murder scene. Four lives were lost in the tragic event that occurred here in Dayton. As far as the injuries, there are 28 individuals that were injured during the course of the incident. According to Dadeville, Alabama law enforcement, shots were fired at a dance studio Saturday night. We're going to do exactly what we need to do to ensure justice is brought to bear for those families. Sunday, hospital officials saying at least 15 teenagers were treated for gunshot wounds, 28 total injured. Some of those injuries are critical. They are in critical condition, and that's why it's so important we absolutely need everyone to continue to pray for those individuals to allow them to recover. A high school senior and football star is among those killed. 
18-year-old Phil Dowdell committed to Jacksonville State. He was the birthday girl's brother. Well, Phil just told me about a month ago. He said, Coach, if anything ever happened to me, even when I go to college, take care of my two sisters. I never dreamed that he was talking about this. Sunday, dozens in Dadeville gathering for a vigil. Investigators are yet to release any details about a suspect or a motive. Also Saturday night, two people were killed and at least four wounded at a park in Louisville, Kentucky, after bullets were fired into a large crowd at a park. Uh, as of right now, we have no witnesses to this, this incident. We do know that hundreds of people were in the park at the time of this shooting. Investigators asking anyone with information about the incident to come forward. It's the city's second mass shooting in less than a week. Last Monday, a gunman shot and killed five people in another mass shooting at a downtown bank. This has been an unspeakable week of tragedy for our city. This is not our city. This is not who we are. This is not who we want to be. Police in Louisville saying it is unclear whether one or multiple people carried out the shooting. Veronica, this morning, President Biden taking to th Twitter to ask Congress to act on gun safety legislation. And listen to this, according to the Gun Violence Archive, the United States has seen more than 116 mass shooting in the first 16 weeks of 2023. Veronica. Yeah, I don't even believe there have been 100 days yet in the year. It's just, un it's just unbelievable, like you were saying. Axel Tercio is reporting live for us from New York City. Axel, thank you so much. In the meantime, Kansas City Police, they are investigating whether the shooting of 16-year-old Ralph Yarl was racially motivated. Police say a homeowner shot the black teenager when he went to the wrong address to pick up his siblings. Protesters have been gathering outside the home where Yarl was shot demanding justice. The homeowner was arrested and then released 24 hours later. Police say they need a formal statement from Yarl and more forensic evidence. The family has hired civil rights attorneys Ben Crump and Lee Merritt, and Crump said that a man who opened the door shot him in the head and then shot him again after he fell to the ground. Calls for accountability are coming from all across the country right now, from Hollywood to the streets of Missouri. People are out demonstrating. Uh, Leslie Delazabor with Scripps News Kansas City has the details on this. Yes. Right. We are telling a story that is different from the stories that you normally hear. Right now. He is alive and he's healing. A 16-year-old's family is thankful he's alive. We want charges. That's what we want. But they are standing among hundreds in the community. making their voice heard and presence known, taking a step towards justice up to the home where Ralph Yarl was shot twice. It gave me a sickening feeling. I just kept looking back at the house. As a mother of three children, this enrages me. Community members say they are speaking from a place of pain. We are not just angry when our babies get shot. We are angry every day because our bodies are hurting, our babies are hurting. We must love and support each other. Crying out for answers, a community is praying for y'all's family and peace, not stopping until they get justice. I realize that justice doesn't come overnight, but the fact that there's a kid in the hospital and everything I read says not even a charge has been done, that concerns me. Just hold this man accountable and um, you see that the community came out and supported. We are a community. If one of our, kill our children is shot, killed, we all are here. In Kansas City, I'm Leslie Delaspor reporting. Coming up next on Scripps News Live, deadly violence rocking a popular vacation spot when a gunman storms a Mexican resort. Also, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and fellow G7 leaders are meeting in Tokyo right now. We're going to explain what's come out of this critical international conference so far. We'll be right back. Al, did you make that call? Honey, we already have Medicare. 
Why do I need to call? Alan, the Feldman said we may be able to get additional benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan right here in our zip code with zero dollar monthly premiums. Honey, what do you mean additional benefits? We turned 65, we got Medicare. That's all there is to it, right? I'm talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. We have traditional Medicare, which is only Medicare Parts A and B, but not Part C. Wait. So not everyone on Medicare is a Part C plan? No. That's why we need to call, because there may be plans available with additional benefits that aren't covered under Medicare Parts A and B. We don't have a Medicare Part C plan, which covers everything in Part A and Part B, plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. What kind of extra benefits? There are great plans that may be available with extra benefits, like dental, vision, and hearing. Did you say dental? Yes, dental. Medicare Part C plans could include dental benefits that help cover routine dental exams and teeth cleanings, plus dental x-rays, fillings, gum disease treatment, and dentures. We need that. I'm calling. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B, like routine dental coverage. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you called last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. Remember, you don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically. Call now. Now for your free 2023 no obligation Medicare benefits review. Call 800-817-7602. 800-817-7602. Attention all business owners. If you had W-2 employees during the COVID-19 pandemic, you may be entitled to up to $26,000 per employee with the Employee Retention Tax Credit. The deadline to file your claims is approaching. Call now to see if your business qualifies. This approved payroll tax refund program from the U.S. Treasury Department is set up to reward business owners who kept employees on payroll during the pandemic. There is no limit on the amount of funding. Plus, you can get access to your cash in a matter of weeks. You want a trusted partner who understands the IRS guidelines. ERC experts are standing by to help your business claim your COVID refund. You may be entitled to up to $26,000 per employee. This quick and easy call can get your business the money it deserves. Don't miss the deadline to file your claims. Just call 800-360-1106. That's 800-360-1106. The Athletic. Subscribe today. At Omaha Steaks, we do burgers differently. We take a premium aged steak like this and turn it into a pure ground burger like this. So this is actually a ribeye. This is a New York strip, top sirloin, beef brisket, and this. This is a filet mignon. For a limited time, our Burger Perfection flight comes with 20 big, juicy burgers, all for just $79.99, plus free shipping. Get it today at omahasteaks.com slash TV. This is Burger Perfection, guaranteed. Sure, you'll teach her how to drive a car. Then use Greenlight to power her independence. With crash detection with 911 dispatch, family location sharing, and emergency SOS alerts. Invest in your best investment with Greenlight. Well, the group of seven nations is promising a strong united front on China's threats to Taiwan. North Korea's long-range missile testing and also Russia's invasion of Ukraine. G7 foreign ministers are meeting in Japan right now. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, along with his UK counterpart, is calling for an immediate end to the fighting that erupted Saturday in Sudan in the meantime between army units and a rival paramilitary force. There is a shared deep concern uh, about the fighting, uh, the violence that's going on in Sudan, the threat that that poses to civilians, that it poses to the Sudanese nation, and potentially poses even to uh, the region. Correspondent Chris Gilbert is in Tokyo. He has details on the G7 push to support Ukraine. 
Monday was the main day of the G7 foreign ministers meeting here in Japan, and top of the agenda was Russia, how to ramp up pressure on Moscow to end the war in Ukraine immediately. And suggestions included reaching out to uh, countries in the so-called Global South uh, in the Pacific and Southeast Asia and elsewhere, uh, which may remain neutral over the conflict and susceptible to Russian influence, and uh, offer them assistance with uh, food security, global warming changes, uh, and other global issues to sway them more towards G7 uh, member countries. Another is uh, vowing to block uh, Russia from uh, evading sanctions, particularly uh, the supply of weapons going into the country. Uh, this may be easier said than done, as uh, Moscow and Beijing have just heightened their uh, military relationship, become closer with those ties, uh, working together to uh, share information and agreeing to heighten their joint military drills as well. There has been some action by the U.S. military in the region uh, as these talks have been going on. Of course, uh, they, uh, the U.S. sailed a warship through the Taiwan Strait uh, in response to Beijing's recent military drills in the region, uh, along with Japan and South Korea. It's also uh, been conducting joint anti-missile drills, uh, of course, to uh, deter Pyongyang from pursuing a nuclear weapon. Now, the decisions that come from this meeting, uh, decisions that are made about Pyongyang, about China and Russia, are going to inform the outcome of the actual G7 summit, also happening here in Japan in just a few weeks' time. Chris Gilbert for Scripps News in Tokyo. I get you now to Mexico where the search is on for the gunman who killed seven people at a central Mexican resort over the weekend. It happened on Saturday at the La Palma Resort. A seven-year-old child is among the dead. Police say an eighth person was seriously wounded. The gunman destroyed a spa shop and took security cameras. Mexican soldiers and police have been using helicopters in the hunt to find them. Their motive right now is unknown, but drug cartels have been fighting each other and local criminal groups in the area. So to come on Scripps News Live, former President Trump and former VP Mike Pence taking the stage at the NRA convention to some very different results. We're going to take you inside this weekend's hugely influential political gathering in Indianapolis. Plus, more women are joining the NRA. We're going to speak with them after the break, and they talk to Scripps News and the why. And go ahead and take a look at what's coming up tonight on Scripps News, 8 p.m. Eastern. We have Chan Seals bringing you Scripps News reports. That's followed by Christian Bryant within the loop, 9 p.m. Eastern at 10 p.m. Lauren Magrino brings you the why. We'll be right back. Are you ready for a fresh new bath or shower? Well, now is the best time with free installation and no interest and no payments for one year. Hi, I'm Christina, and it's time to flip your old worn out bath or shower with Jacuzzi Bath Remodel today. Everyone knows the Jacuzzi brand. They're the most trusted name in water for over 60 years. But did you know they can install a gorgeous bath or shower that feels incredible in as little as one day? It's no stress and no mess with a lifetime warranty. Now let's talk beauty. You deserve to start and end your day in a beautiful space that feels great and is custom designed just for you. So call or go online now to see the Christina preferred designs like Canyon, Farm, and Urban. Now that's the total bathroom beauty that I love at a price you can afford. And how about safety? Like an ultra low profile, easy entry shower complete with grab bars and a custom design seat. You deserve safety and peace of mind without sacrificing style. Because with all the worries in daily life, taking a shower shouldn't be one of them. Every time I stepped over my old tub, I worried I might fall. I don't have those fears anymore. Jacuzzi Bath Remodel gave me a gorgeous shower that's safe too. I've been trying to get him to remodel that bath for years. I called and they didn't just one day. And at a price we could afford. With one call to Jacuzzi Bath Remodel, you can effortlessly transform that old, ugly eyesore into the stunning bath or shower of your dreams that you'll love for years to come. Call or go online now to jacuzzibathremodel.com to get free installation. Plus, ask how you may qualify for no interest and no payments for one year. Go to jacuzzibathremodel.com or call 800-218-1279. That's 800-218-1279. Call now.
I'm Jason Bellini in Ukraine reporting for Scripps News. In a war half a world away. You learn pretty fast when you just survive. There are stories you will never forget. Stay with Scripps News. Welcome back to Scripps News Live. Great to see you today. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. It is now 34 minutes after the hour on this Monday. We do appreciate you being with us today. Let's get you up to speed on the biggest stories we're tracking for you right now. The House Judiciary Committee is holding a hearing on crime in New York City right now. Committee Chair Jim Jordan making it clear that today's hearing is aimed at Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and what he is calling, quote, pro-crime, anti-victim policies. It comes as Bragg and Jordan are already at odds over the DA's prosecution of former President Trump over alleged hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels. Americans have to wait until Wednesday to learn the fate of the abortion pill Mifepristone. The Supreme Court is considering an appeals court's ruling that would restrict its access. On Friday, Justice Samuel Alito extended the lower court's hold on the drug, and that's going to keep Mifepristone on the market for now. Supporters of abortion rights protested across the country over the weekend. High-profile attorney Gloria Allred attended a protest in California. She told reporters limiting abortion rights is life-threatening. As a woman who once had an illegal abortion in California in the 60s, and where I almost died from the illegal abortion, because it was illegal for anyone to help me, but not for me to have it. I can understand the pain of women whose choices are limited or completely denied. And we must not allow women's lives to be placed at risk. The FDA approved Mifeprestone in 2000, and since then, nearly 6 million women have taken the drug. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell returned to work at the U.S. Capitol today. McConnell has been recovering after a fall at a hotel nearly six weeks ago. He injured his head and he fractured a rib. The Republican leader is expected to work a full schedule this week. Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman is also back on Capitol Hill after he received treatment for depression. Former President Trump and former Vice President Mike Pence spoke at the NRA convention in Indianapolis over the weekend. But these running mates turned political rivals earned very different reactions from the audience. Trump received a hero's welcome, but Pence's reception was less warm. Well, thank you very much. And Now, as the NRA looks to boost membership and gun sales, it's turning to a demographic that has been traditionally underrepresented in its ranks. But new data shows all of that is changing. More women are buying guns and advocating for gun ownership. According to a Harvard University study, women accounted for half of all gun sales between 2019 and 2021. National correspondent John Moan attended the NRA convention in Indianapolis and spoke with some women about gun control and the growing trend of female gun ownership. The saying goes, God created men, Samuel Colt made them equal. In 21st century America, women also figure into that marketing ploy and in gun politics. I am a concealed weapons permit holder myself. Former ambassador and Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley displayed her Second Amendment credentials to National Rifle Association members at their annual convention in Indianapolis. Now, I probably don't look like a traditional NRA member. The media would have us believe that the NRA is only made up of old white guys as did South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. A 2021 Harvard University study found that women roughly accounted for half of all gun purchases between 2019 and 2021, and that new gun owners were more likely to be female. I think that that's an incredible thing, that ladies and women are taking their protection more serious. NRA member and gun store owner Bridget Reed Wynn isn't surprised by those numbers. I always tell my ladies, be your own superhero because no one's coming to save you. But it's more than just buying a gun. Reed Wynn says training is critical. Don't just go out and buy a firearm just because someone told you that this is what you need. Being trained on how to properly pick a firearm, being trained on how, how to properly carry um, and defend yourself. Women gun owners we spoke with say women need to speak up more on gun laws. If they stand up for what they believe instead of being the silent, then maybe the laws will change. Greenly. Outside the NRA's convention, a somber contrast. 
Noah Joseph Ensley. Sylvia, North Carolina, 15. Not a celebration of guns or empowerment. When did it become unpopular to protect children? Rather mourning about gun violence. I don't think it's about female versus male, white versus black, or Republican versus Democrat. I think honestly what it is about is fear and people being afraid that somebody's going to walk into their job, whether it be the bank or a school, and shoot them. Recent Gallup surveys suggest women overall are more in favor of restrictive gun laws. Yeah, you know, even having a handgun in your home for protection as long as it's locked up safely. For the women on that side of the debate, the answer is clear. So what I would say is I don't want your guns. I don't want your guns. I just want them to be regulated. Whether their counterparts inside are willing to listen is a different story. John Moan, Scripps News, Indianapolis. And straight ahead on Scripps News Live, SpaceX forced to scrub the launch of its state-of-the-art rocket this morning. We're going to tell you why next. Also, firefighters in coastal Georgia managing to put out a raging fire at a plastics plant for a second time. We'll have the details after this. I'm Kirk Kaiser, and did you know the average funeral costs around $10,000? And if you don't have enough insurance to cover funeral costs, credit card debt, and other expenses, your family is going to get stuck with the bill. Don't let that happen. Call right now. And if you're over 50, you can get up to $30,000 in affordable life insurance, and your acceptance is guaranteed. That's right. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance, regardless of your health. Plus, there's no medical exam and no health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down. And rates start as low as $5 a week. Your coverage begins as soon as your application is received. Don't wait until it's too late. Just call 800-760-7793. Coverage is guaranteed regardless of your health and cannot be canceled without your approval. Don't leave your family with a huge bill for your funeral. With one fast and easy call, get up to $30,000 in affordable life insurance to help cover funeral expenses and credit card debt, and maybe even leave something for your kids and your grandkids. Remember, if you're over 50, you can't be turned down regardless of your health. There's no medical exam and no health questions. Best of all, your rates start as low as $5 a week, and your rate will never increase. Nothing is more important than family. So don't leave them with a lot of bills to pay when you're gone. Don't leave your family with a lot of bills to pay for your funeral. Call right now. Acceptance is guaranteed. Call right now. Call now. Call 800-760-7793. That's 800-760-7793. Hi, William Devane here. If you're on Medicare and Medicaid or new to Medicare, you can call and check your zip code for a Medicare Advantage plan that may have extra benefits and may save you money. It's so easy. One, call the number at the bottom of your screen. Two, they'll check for Medicare Advantage plans that may offer lower co-pays, transportation benefits, prescriptions, and dental coverage for fillings, extractions, even dentures, plus Part B premium reduction benefit that can add money back to your Social Security check every month. Three, you'll find out if you're eligible for certain plans that include an allowance for rent, groceries, and utility bills for qualifying individuals. Get what you deserve. Call now. I just became eligible for Medicare, so I called to see if a plan that helps me pay for rent and groceries was available in my zip code. Get what you deserve. Call now. If you're on Medicare and Medicaid or new to Medicare, call to speak to a licensed insurance agent. Call 1-800-506-2300 now. Hi, my name is Chris Puncelon. I'm 29 years old, and I'm one of the 53 million family caregivers in the U.S., and this is what a typical afternoon looks like as a caregiver for my grandma. I help my grandma with everything, from eating to getting dressed and moving around the house. So with all the things I have to remember, CareWell helps me worry about one less thing. They help me focus less on what I have to do and more on what I want to do, like making music or recording a podcast. When I first started caregiving, I had no idea what I was doing. But now, I can just call CareWell's team of caregiving specialists. 
They're available 24-7 to help guide caregivers on their care journey. No question is off limits. With thousands of high-quality products and their auto-ship program, I don't have to worry about making sure I stock up on care essentials. They send it all right to my door quickly and at the right price. Visit carewell.com today and get 30% off your first auto-ship order. SpaceX scrubbed its giant Starship rocket launch this morning, and they're going to have to try again on Wednesday. Officials are going off the launch due to a problem with the first stage booster. SpaceX has big goals for the Starship. It is planning to use the rocket to send astronauts and cargo to the moon and then eventually to Mars. People nor satellites will be on board Wednesday's launch. In Georgia, a fire at a chemical plant has now been fully extinguished. It broke out at the Panova facility in Brunswick on Saturday morning. Crews contained the flames, but they reignited that same afternoon. Officials issued a shelter in place and evacuation order for the city, which have since been lifted. No injuries have been reported and no word yet on the cause. In Indiana right now, residents in Richmond can return home now that an evacuation order there has been lifted. It all comes three days after crews extinguished the fire at a plastic recycling plant. Authorities lifted the order after they determined that the air quality was safe. The EPA did, however, detect toxic chemicals at the plant. Some samples of debris from surrounding areas have tested positive for asbestos, which can harm a person's lungs. Crews have been removing all the material involved in the blaze. They will continue testing the air. In Ohio, Norfolk Southern officials say it's reached a significant milestone during cleanup efforts in East Palestine. According to a company statement, crews excavated and then removed 25,000 tons of soil from underneath the south tracks where that train derailed in February. Crews are now working to reinstall those tracks and then they're expected to begin removing contaminated soil on the north tracks. That's going to take place next week. Taking a look at the weather now, more heavy rain and flooding is in the forecast for South Florida. That area has been hit hard with unprecedented rainfall, and in some areas, the floodwaters have yet to recede. The stagnant water has been trapping some people in their homes in Fort Lauderdale. Sophia Hernandez with Scripps News Tampa spoke to some of them. What once would be a street of comings and goings on Friday is now just stretches of water. In the latter part of it, the wind was so strong, it was so frightening. I, I, I called somebody to say, okay, can you pray for us because we're about to get hit. Hazel lives in Melrose Park, and in the two years she's lived here, she says she's never walked out her front door to this. It ran off, but it's, this time it stays, and it's very treacherous, so it's very treacherous. And it's not just her street. Throughout the neighborhood, there's pockets of stagnant water. Homeowners either trying to find a way out, cars, <laughs> trying to find a way in, or residents just waiting for something to happen, as was the case for this woman. The water was too deep for me to reach her, so she shouted to me. As of Friday afternoon, the city of Fort Lauderdale says they have focused their flood response on three key areas, one of them being residential neighborhoods. The city has 18 Vactor trucks out pumping water, but it's going to take some time. This homeowner of 25 years says her home has significant water damage, and she will call insurance companies once all the rain and water are gone. Until then, those stuck just hope it's not for much longer. I'm just hoping for the water to go back to recede. Expecting anything else higher than this, it, it's going to be damaging. And that was Sophia Hernandez reporting there for us. Coming up next on Scripps News Live, someone call the fire department because Netflix just got smoked. The streaming service flamed online after dropping the ball on its live premiere of a highly anticipated reunion show. Also, have you ever stopped to add up how much you're spending on services like Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus? Well, that answer might surprise you. How a subscription audit could help you save some cash. And we want to remind you right here to follow us online at Scripps News on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and on TikTok. We'll be right back.
This is an important legal announcement for all firefighters, first responders, airport workers, members of the military, and their families. Firefighter occupational cancer is the leading cause of deaths in the fire service. Cancer accounted for more than 74% of deaths in 2022. You may have been exposed to chemical-based firefighting foam known to cause cancer. If you or a loved one were exposed, you may be entitled to significant cash compensation. Call the number on your screen now for your free case consultation. Aqueous Film Forming Foam, or AFF, has been used to extinguish fires for years. Studies now show there are highly toxic chemicals used to make this foam. These chemicals can cause many types of cancer and illnesses. Call now to see if you're eligible for the cash compensation you deserve without having to go to court. The call and consultation are absolutely free. The time to file your claim is limited, so don't wait and call now. Just call 800-346-7670 now. That's 800 346 7670. Attention all eligible Medicare beneficiaries. If you're on Medicare, you can now get COVID-19 tests sent to your home every month at absolutely no cost to you. That's right. Get up to eight at-home COVID-19 rapid antigen tests delivered directly to your home for absolutely no cost, including free shipping. Just call 800-610-0265 now to get your COVID-19 tests delivered to your door at absolutely no cost to you. Don't get caught without your no-cost at-home COVID tests. Just call 800-610-0265 right now to get your COVID-19 tests delivered right to your door at absolutely no cost to you. Just call 800-610-0265 right now. This Medicare program provides easy access to request at-home COVID-19 tests at no cost. If you're on Medicare, call 800-610-0265 right now and request up to eight at-home COVID-19 tests each month delivered to your home at absolutely no cost to you, including free shipping. Call 800-610-0265 do you spend hours maintaining your gutters save that time with leafguards maintenance free system call 1-833-2-GUTTERS mesh filters sit on top of your gutters building up debris and eventually clogging then they need to be cleaned too honestly your home should have been built with leafguard gutters leafguards wrap around hood deflects debris and keeps water away from your home the one-piece seamless system is strong 20 percent thicker than average and built to last Plus, LeafGuard is guaranteed to never clog for as long as you own your home. Right now, get a complete LeafGuard system for only $99 down, $99 a month, and $99 installation. You'll also receive a $100 Visa gift card with a free gutter inspection and in-home estimate. Damage from clogged gutters can cost you thousands. Never worry about clogged gutters again. Don't wait. You've still got time. Call 1-833-2-GUTTERS today. That's 1-833-2-GUTTERS. When what's happening in the world hits home. What strikes me is how many children are here. And when reporting the news matters the most. Scripps News reports tonight at 8, 7 central, only on Scripps News. The show is called Love is Blind, but nevertheless, Netflix viewers, well, they still expected to be able to see it. <laughs> In fact, more than a million people were logged onto the app and the website last night, anticipating the show's live reunion special. And then when 8 p.m. rolled around, there were crickets. No show. So the network took to Twitter to confirm one delay and then another delay, and then they scrubbed the live broadcast entirely. So without a reunion special to tweet about, the roasting began instead. Digital streaming competitors like Hulu, Peacock, yeah, they each took a couple swipes. But it was this tweet from one-time movie rental giant Blockbuster that broke the internet last night. Quote, remember renting VHSs from us? You could start it on time, no problem. This is we get. Ouch. <laughs> Now, after last night's big debacle, there are no doubt some customers who are tempted to cancel their Netflix subscription. And maybe you might be too. If you sit down to crunch the numbers on just how much you've been spending on streaming services each and every month, Scripps News correspondent Hattie DiJamal explains how a subscription audit could actually save you some cash. The rise of streaming promised cutting the cord and saving some cash. 
But fast forward several years later and... On average, families are spending $273 per month in subscription services. Attorney and financial expert Amy Wilburn of Lincoln Goldfinch Law in Austin, Texas, has a list of ways we can save money with a subscription audit. And we'll start with the heavy lifting, pulling a year's worth of bank statements. If you go back a full year, then you'll probably catch everything that you're spending money on. My Amazon Prime subscription comes out every October and it sneaks up on me every time. While gathering that many bank records can be a pain, Amy has a shortcut. Download it into a spreadsheet. You can use that spreadsheet and sort it by who's getting paid. And then you can kind of look at big swaths of payees that you're sending money to and know what you need to eliminate. Next up, turn Netflix's da -dum into cha-ching by opting for an ad-supported streaming. Same with Disney Plus and Hulu as well. You can save over $100 a year by going ad-supported streaming. Netflix charges about seven bucks, while Disney Plus and Hulu with ads will set you back about $8 a month each. But Amy has a hack to make those ads fly by. Challenge each other to sit-up races or push-up races or race to see how much we can get done during those two to three minutes of ads. You may also qualify to get one of the services for free with your cell phone plan. AT&T offers HBO Max with any unlimited plan, while some T-Mobile plans offer an entire year of Amazon Prime. We'll wrap by not getting soaked by those hidden subscriptions many of us forget about, like the car wash subscription. Rather than having that membership, call on your local teenager to say, hey, on the third day of every month, can you come over and wash my car? I'll pay you 20 bucks. And those massage club memberships that don't often get used. Maybe there's a massage school near you that offers massages at a reduced rate. It won't be a subscription service, but you can get the same service probably for cheaper and really only when you need or want it. Zapping those monthly money pits with a subscription audit. Yeah, one of the reasons we love Scripps News, it is free. It is free. Awesome. And that was Hattie D. Jamal reporting there for us. Well, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is paying a visit to Wall Street today. In your next hour of Scripps News Live, we're going to explain how the Speaker used that visit to urge lawmakers to come to an agreement on the debt ceiling. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz, and we are back after this. Here's TV shark Robert Herchevec for Car Shield. I love cars and I also love great deals. That's why I'm such a fan of Car Shield. They have an amazing deal that helps protect you from the sky high cost of big auto repairs. The check engine light on your vehicle can come on at any time. If your car is out of warranty, an engine replacement can cost over $5,000. A new transmission, over $4,000. Even a new air conditioner can run over $1,500. If you suddenly had to pay those costs, it could really hurt your bottom line. Cross Shield administrators have paid for my claims over $5,000. Now, who does that? Cross Shield, you're the best. A plan that works. When your car or truck breaks down, you simply take it to the certified repair shop or dealer of your choice. Car Shield administrators take care of the rest. And Car Shield gives you VIP treatment. Plans through Car Shield include 24 hour roadside assistance, courtesy towing, and rental car options when your vehicle is being repaired. I did my due diligence. Car Shield is a deal that is just too good to pass up. In fact, Car Shield is America's number one auto protection company. Car Shield administrators have paid out over a billion dollars in claims and have protected millions of vehicles. Call now for a free quote. It's only a matter of time until your vehicle is going to need a repair. Say big with Car Shield. Call now for an instant free quote. Car Shield offers month to month plans for every budget. There are no long term contracts. Car Shield has coverage for vehicles with 5,000 to 150,000 miles. Car Shield experts are standing by now. The sooner you call, the sooner you can drive with peace of mind. Coverage through Car Shield is a deal that is just too good to pass up. If you want to save a lot of money on future auto repair bills, I recommend you call Car Shield now. Call 1 800 680 9870 or go to carshield.com. That's 1 800 680 9870. Call now.
children had very bright futures, the ones that I knew from Dateful. Very, very athletic, very uh, humble children, very respectful children, um, smart. Gun violence rocking the small community of Dadeville, Alabama this weekend. Four people killed, another 28 injured. Thank you so much for staying with us this afternoon. It is now nearly 1 p.m. in the east, 10 a.m. out west, and I'm Veronica Della Cruz. Welcome back to Scripps News Live. Communities across the country right now are reeling from a weekend impacted by gun violence. That shooting in Alabama, it happened on Saturday, and it happened when a gunman turned a girl's 16th birthday party from a celebration into a deadly tragedy. Police there now pleading with the public for information on what led up to the gunfire. And in Louisville, Kentucky, a gunman opened fire in a public park. In these two shootings alone, six people were killed, at least 32 others wounded. Scripps News National Correspondent Axel Tercios joins me now live from New York. He's been tracking both of these shootings. Axel, bring us up to speed. What more can you tell us right now about the investigations in both of these shooting cases? Veronica, it is preposterous. Another weekend tainted by gun violence across the nation. At this hour, police and investigators are scrambling to find suspects and motives to these two shootings, and they're asking anyone with information to come forward. In the blink of an eye, a Sweet 16 birthday party turning into a mass murder scene. Four lives were lost in the tragic event that occurred here in Dayton. As far as the injuries, there are 28 individuals that were injured during the course of the incident. According to Dadeville, Alabama law enforcement, shots were fired at a dance studio Saturday night. We're going to do exactly what we need to do to ensure justice is brought to bear for those families. Sunday, hospital officials saying at least 15 teenagers were treated for gunshot wounds. 28 total injured. Some of those injuries are critical. They are in critical condition, and that's why it's so important. And we absolutely need everyone to continue to pray for those individuals to allow them to recover. A high school senior and football star is among those killed. 18-year-old Phil Dowdell committed to Jacksonville State. He was the birthday girl's brother. Well, Phil just told me about a month ago. I said, Coach, anything ever happened to me, even when I go to college, take care of my two sisters. I never dreamed that he was talking about this. Sunday, dozens in Dadeville gathering for a vigil. Investigators are yet to release any details about a suspect or a motive. Also Saturday night, two people were killed and at least four wounded at a park in Louisville, Kentucky, after bullets were fired into a large crowd at a park. Uh, as of right now, we have no witnesses to this, this incident. We do know that hundreds of people were in the park at the time of this shooting. Investigators asking anyone with information about the incident to come forward. It's the city's second mass shooting in less than a week. Last Monday, a gunman shot and killed five people in another mass shooting at a downtown bank. This has been an unspeakable week of tragedy for our city. This is not our city. This is not who we are. This is not who we want to be. Police in Louisville saying it is unclear whether one or multiple people carried out the shooting. Veronica, this morning, President Joe Biden taken to Twitter to ask Congress to act on gun safety legislation. And listen to this, according to the Gun Violence Archive, the United States has seen more than 116 mass shootings in the first 16 weeks of 2023. Veronica. Yeah, it is just something else. Axel Tercios, live for us in New York City. Axel, thank you. Let's get out of Missouri. Kansas City Police investigating whether the shooting there of 16-year-old Ralph Yarl was racially motivated. Police say a homeowner shot the black teenager when he went to the wrong address to pick up his siblings. Protesters have been gathering outside the home where Yarl was shot and demanded justice. The homeowner was arrested and then released 24 hours later. Police say they need a formal statement from Yarl and they need more forensic evidence. Just hold this man accountable. 
and um, you see that the community came out and supported. We are a community. If one of our, kill, our children is shot, killed, we all are here. The family has hired civil rights attorneys Ben Crump and Lee Merritt. Crump said a man opened the door and then shot Yarl in the head, and then he shot him again after Yarl fell to the ground. Yarl is in critical condition right now. Calls for accountability in this case have been coming from all across the country in the meantime, from Hollywood to the streets of Missouri, where people have been demonstrating over the weekend. Leslie Delisbor with Scripps News Kansas City has the details. Yes. We are telling a story that is different from the stories that you normally hear. Right now. He is alive and he's healing. A 16-year-old's family is thankful he's alive. We want charges. That's what we want. But they are standing among hundreds in the community. making their voice heard and presence known, taking a step towards justice up to the home where Ralph Yarl was shot twice. It gave me a sickening feeling. I just kept looking back at the house. As a mother of three children, this enrages me. Community members say they are speaking from a place of pain. We are not just angry when our babies get shot. We are angry every day because our bodies are hurting, our babies are hurting. We must love and support each other. Crying out for answers, a community is praying for y'all's family and peace, not stopping until they get justice. I realize that justice doesn't come overnight, but the fact that there's a kid in the hospital and everything I read says not even a charge has been done, that concerns me. Just hold this man accountable, and um, you see that the community came out and supported. We are a community. If one of our, kill our children is shot, killed, we all are here. In Kansas City, I'm Leslie Delisbor reporting. Search continues right now for three American sailors who were last heard from nearly two weeks ago. The U.S. Coast Guard says that they were traveling to San Diego from the Mexican city of Mazatlan when they went missing. The crew planned to stop in Cabo San Lucas on April 6th, but so far there's been no record of them arriving. Police say the missing are experienced sailors. Well, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was on Wall Street this morning. He addressed the debt ceiling crisis and urged Republicans to come to an agreement on how to prevent the U.S. from defaulting. President Biden and McCarthy have been at odds on the best way to solve the debt crisis for months now. The U.S. is in jeopardy of defaulting by June if there's no solution by then. Let's get you right out to Scripps News White House correspondent Haley Bull, who's live for us in Washington. All right, Haley, what more did Kevin McCarthy have to say today, and where do things stand right now with this debt ceiling solution? Good afternoon, Veronica. With that clock ticking to reach an agreement, there's no apparent progress here on this issue. Uh, Speaker McCarthy, in his remarks today, criticized the Biden administration over spending and again called for negotiations. But keep in mind, the White House has repeatedly indicated that the president is willing to negotiate on a budget, saying they want to see a specific concrete plan from Republicans, but that the debt limit is not up for negotiation, accusing. House Republicans of holding the country's credit hostage. Now, in those remarks today, McCarthy offered a preview of a budget, but didn't go into any specific details. He said they would limit federal spending, specifically pointing to unspent COVID money and an energy bill that the administration does not support. And while he seemed to tout Social Security and Medicare, he also said social assistance programs are meant to be temporary. Listen. Make no mistake, the longer President Biden waits to be sensible, to find an agreement, the more likely it becomes that this administration will bumble into the first default in our nation's history. 
So, Veronica, the standoff on where the debt limit stands is not something that this speech moved the needle on, but the White House, in response, uh, again, calling for a specific plan from Republicans. A White House official stating, I want to read part of this quote to you here, quote, he again failed to clearly outline what House Republicans are proposing and will vote on, even as he referenced a vague, extreme MAGA wish list that will increase costs for hardworking families, take food assistance and health care away from millions of Americans, and yet would enlarge the deficit when combined with House Republican proposals for tax giveaways skewed to the super rich special interests and profitable companies. And Veronica, as you know, the debt limit or the debt rather currently stands at over $31 trillion right now. Yep. Haley Bull reporting live from the White House. We are watching it closely. Haley, thank you. All right, here is what is coming up next on Scripps News Live. We've got some news right here on Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. He's returned to work in the U.S. Capitol today. He's been recovering after a fall at a hotel nearly six weeks ago, and he injured his head. He fractured a rib. The Republican leader is expected to work a full schedule this week. Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman, also back on Capitol Hill. He's been receiving treatment for depression. All right, reports show the economy is heading in the right direction. So why are economists still worried about a recession? We're going to have a live guest joining us next. Also, the death toll rising as the chaos in Sudan continues. The latest on the calls for the fighting to end. You're watching Scripps News Live. Make your gift personal this Mother's Day with custom glass prints she'll love. Images are printed directly on glass in brilliant color and clarity. Turn your memories with mom into remarkably different prints. Go to TriFracture.com and get 30% off orders over $50. This bakery needs new equipment fast to keep up with demand. So they're going to On Deck, the online lender that makes it easy to choose your loan and if approved, get funds as soon as the same day. Your loan is On Deck. At Omaha Steaks, we do burgers differently. We take a premium aged steak like this and turn it into a pure ground burger like this. So this is actually a ribeye. This is a New York strip, top sirloin, beef brisket, and this, this is a filet mignon. For a limited time, our burger perfection flight comes with 20 big juicy burgers, all for just $79.99, plus free shipping. Get it today at omahasteaks.com slash TV. This is burger perfection guaranteed. Hi, William Devane here. If you're on Medicare and Medicaid or new to Medicare, you can call and check your zip code for a Medicare Advantage plan that may have extra benefits and may save you money. It's so easy. One, call the number at the bottom of your screen. Two, they'll check for Medicare Advantage plans that may offer lower co-pays, transportation benefits, prescriptions, and dental coverage for fillings, extractions, even dentures. Plus, Part B premium reduction benefit that can add money back to your Social Security check every month. Three, you'll find out if you're eligible for certain plans that include an allowance for rent, groceries, and utility bills for qualifying individuals. Get what you deserve. Call now. I just became eligible for Medicare, so I called to see if a plan that helps me pay for rent and groceries was available in my zip code. Get what you deserve. Call now. If you're on Medicare and Medicaid or new to Medicare, call to speak to a licensed insurance agent. Call 1-800-506-2300 now. But it wasn't the photos and it wasn't the video that changed my life. It was understanding the stories behind them. You know, when you're ready, I'll have your baby for you. Make something that was meant to be. There's good to it, there's a lot of bad to it, but that's life. It worries me. Brotherhood to me is everything. We've opened up a whole new world. Reports and data show that the economy seems to not only be stabilizing, but striving as well. The job market has been up, highlighted by a century-low unemployment rate, which sits at 3.5% right now, and that is drastically lower than April 2020, when unemployment hit nearly 15%. 15%. Inflation has also begun to slow. Last week, government numbers showed that consumer pricing only climbed 5% since March 2021. That is the slowest pace in two years. 
But despite all of this promising data, some economists are still worried that the U.S. is headed for a recession. Mark Scribner joins us now live. He's the managing director, partner, and wealth advisor at Carson Wealth. Mark, always good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Thanks for having me. All right, Mark, everything I just said shows us that the economy seems to be stabilizing, maybe even prospering. Why, 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 why are there still fears of a recession? Well, it's almost like still a tale of two stories. We have pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, and a lot of the data is is confusing. Um, so, you know, the Fed obviously issued a lot of money in the pandemic, but the data is is not completely clear at the moment. And since the Fed's increased interest rates so dramatically, I think it's going to take a little bit of time to see, you know, what that does with interest rates and credit card debt. And the, the consumer at the moment still isn't completely feeling those changes. What do economists look for exactly when they make these determinations about about the R word, about a recession? I mean, as opposed to maybe just a, a challenging time in the economy or maybe an economic downturn, what really is considered a recession versus an economic downturn? Well, technically, it's supposed to be two consecutive uh, down quarters of gross domestic product. We're still not quite there yet. It's kind of in and out. At the beginning of the year, most economists predicted about a 28% chance of a recession. Now that's kind of crept up towards the 50%, uh, more towards the latter part of this year. A lot of it is just so confusing to me, but I want to go ahead and ask you about these recent bank failures because 2023 saw two of the biggest banking failures in U.S. history. How much of that could impact the economy, a potential recession, and how have those failures really changed our economy as a whole? Well, it's interesting, like SVB, they were on watch. I think they had something like six violations in 2022. So believe it or not, it wasn't. They were on the radar of the Fed of having some issues and got some negative citations. So it wasn't a complete surprise. They were on it, maybe a little bit slow to react. Um, but the byproduct of that is some of the more regional banks lately have uh, tightened their credit uh, criteria. So that could be a problem because, you know, most of the economy, two thirds of the economy is small business. So if um, the regional banks aren't pushing out loans and you can't get a, a loan as a small business owner, that could cause a ripple effect down the road. What do you think the health of the banking industry says about our current economy? I know that J.P. Morgan Chase posted $12.6 billion in profits. That was a 52% jump from the year before. Their shares were up 6% on Friday. What is this? signal to you it's so interesting to me as i see earnings come out a lot of them being quite strong yet we're still hearing the r word yeah i mean some of the bigger banks in the 2008 had very rigorous stress tests so they had a lot more scrutiny than say something like a silicon valley bank which is I think about $200 billion in deposits. So the bigger banks, the too big to fail, if you will, uh, they are very uh, much watched carefully. So they have different testing that's going on. Um, but I think it kind of made some of the banks a little skittish. Um, definitely if they're going to slow down their lending, uh, that could be an issue down the line. But the banks also have been slow to kind of keep pace with what's happening in the Fed. And a lot of money has been withdrawn from a lot of banks because the interest rates that they're crediting say savings account aren't that great at the moment. So people have been taking enormous amounts of money out of banks and putting into things like treasuries because the, the yields are much higher than what the banks are able to offer. But let's let's big picture this for, for a moment because inflation has been on the way down. The Fed has raised interest rates in the past nine meetings and we know the next meeting is set for early next month. How much does increasing interest rates impact the economy, maybe a potential recession? And where do you think things head next? What is Jay Powell going to do next? You know, in the past 60 years, the only soft landing that you probably could point your finger towards would be 1994. Alan Greenspan was the architect of that. Um, the soft landing, if we do get into a recession, it's very difficult to land that plane. Um, but we only know, unfortunately, till after the fact. It might not be completely visible that we have a mild or a soft landing or even a recession till a few quarters after, after it actually happens. How do you think this impacts the job market? You know, the unemployment's been at a historic low, 3.5%, and that is after we saw it at 15% during the pandemic. Again, the world is recovering from a global pandemic. What do you think is going to happen to the labor market here in the United States? 
Well, the growth sector technology companies, for example, had benefited from a low interest rate environment for over a decade. So they were the first ones to start to lay off people because growth started to slow. Um, I do have a lot of business clients that are thought leaders that have, again, pre-pandemic, post-pandemic have figured out that their footprint from a commercial real estate perspective need, could be smaller. They could actually hire uh, or put more wages in people's pockets versus a commercial footprint. So the, the big kind of what if is um, this work from home thing, we still haven't figured out like if this is going to be a long term solution where uh, companies pivot towards kind of a remote type of workforce. And we're starting to see, you know, some of that data come out, but we don't know how it's going to end up ultimately. What do you think needs to happen for the country to avoid a recession? I mean, what does Jay Powell need to do ultimately? Uh, because it's been a really, really, really interesting ride. I mean, you've been talking about a, a soft landing. You know, will he be able to achieve that? We will not really know until after the fact. Um, is there anything people can be doing right now in order to prepare since there's so much economic uncertainty happening right now? Yeah, I mean, financial planning wise, it should be very uh, much of a key to get rid of, you know, things that are variable rate um, so interest rates are high, so people are paying more. We still have inflation in certain areas, like healthcare, for example. You know, groceries, companies' balance sheets look great because they are greed-based and they're they're benefiting a lot from the, the rise of prices that are here. Um, but I think in, in terms of prepare, like you want to make sure that your job's tight, that you have some options that are out there. But if you have variable debt, you want to try to eradicate that as much as possible if it's an extended type of situation. All right, Mark Scribner from Carson Wealth. Mark, thank you so much for your time, your insight, and as always, it's great to see you, my friend. It's great to see you. Thank you. So to come on Scripps News Live, G7 leaders meeting in Tokyo and calling for fighting in Sudan to end. We'll be right back. Attention all Medicare recipients. Did you know you could be adding up to $164 back to your Social Security check every month? Certain beneficiaries qualify for specific benefits based on income verification. Get a free Medicare Benefits Review and see if you qualify. Just call 800-396-0918. This program helps lower Medicare costs like premiums, deductibles, and co-insurance. You may also qualify for a Medicare Advantage plan with additional benefits at no cost to you. A licensed insurance agent is standing by to check your eligibility. Just call 800-396-0918. You could be adding up to $164 back to your Social Security check every month. Certain beneficiaries qualify for specific benefits based on income verification. You don't get these savings automatically. Call now. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are free. That's 800-396-0918. Attention all Medicare recipients. Did you know you could be adding up to $164 back to your Social Security check every month? Certain beneficiaries qualify for specific benefits based on income verification. Get a free Medicare Benefits Review and see if you qualify. Just call 800-396-0918. This program helps lower Medicare costs like premiums, deductibles, and co-insurance. You may also qualify for a Medicare Advantage plan with additional benefits at no cost to you. A licensed insurance agent is standing by to check your eligibility. You could be adding up to $164 back to your Social Security check every month. Certain beneficiaries qualify for specific benefits based on income verification. You don't get these savings automatically. Call now. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are free. Just call 800-396-0918. That's 800-396-0918. everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Bellich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of
thousands of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person. who will answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. Your paycheck. Your family depends on it. But if something happened to you, you need life insurance. And chances are SelectQuote can get it for you for under a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Michael 38, a $500,000 policy for under $23 a month. SelectQuote found Anna 37, a $750,000 policy for under $23 a month. Select Quote Secret? They comparison shop a select group of great companies like these for your best rate. Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Since 1985, Select Quote has saved over a million families millions of dollars on life insurance. Call now. 1-800-646-6345. That's 1-800-646-6345. Or go to selectquote.com. Discover what over a million families know. We shop, you save. Well, the group of seven nations promising a strong united front on China's threats to Taiwan, North Korea's long-range missile testing, and also Russia's invasion of Ukraine. G7 foreign ministers are meeting in Japan right now. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, along with his U.K. counterpart, is calling for an immediate end to the fighting that erupted Saturday in Sudan between army units and a rival paramilitary force. There is a shared deep concern uh, about the fighting, uh, the violence that's going on in Sudan, the threat that that poses to civilians, that it poses to the Sudanese nation, and potentially poses even to, uh, to the region. Correspondent Naba Mohi has the latest now from Sudan's capital of Khartoum. Fighting in Sudan is still going on in different Sudanese cities and in the capital Khartoum. Uh, people are still panicked and staying at their houses without any chance to go outside. Uh, in the streets, uh, there is war. It's not war, it's battles, but it's uh, seats of civil war because it's about uh, uh, RSF, which is a militia, an ethnic militia, and Sudan's military. Uh, there is a tensions, uh, an escalation also around the military headquarters and the presidential palace. Uh, the two sides are claiming that they are controlling the situation and they are seizing each other's uh, camps. But on the ground, we can see escalation. And without any one of the sides controlling the other, it's uh, back and forth battles. And uh, uh, unfortunately, the civilians, the innocent civilians, are the victims of this chaotic and irresponsible battles in the capital. There is wide condemnation for this this uh, war or battles uh, from the international community, from the U.S., Troika, uh, from the European Union, of course, and from African leaders. And there is some initiative to contain this crisis uh, between uh, Sudanese army and the rabbit support forces because uh, the international community and African leaders, they know what does it mean for Sudan to, to slide into a civil war. African leaders are planning to come to Khartoum uh, for talks between generals, but it's not scheduled yet. And we don't know when it will happen because uh, the airspace is still blocked and there is no access for flights or scheduled, uh, scheduled flights yet. Uh, Sudanese these people are in a very bad humanitarian situation. People cannot go outside to get food, medicine, water, and there is also water shortages and electricity blackout. Uh, even, uh, sadly, I am saying this, but even dead bodies cannot be evacuated from buildings, streets, and uh, also from their houses. That was Naba Mohi reporting for us there from Khartoum with the latest in Sudan. Straight ahead on Scripps News Live, the fate of the abortion pill still in legal limbo. Why the Supreme Court is pumping the brakes on a Texas judge's ruling. Plus this. I'm Joe St. George of the Department of Justice. Coming up, we take a closer look at the death penalty in our country. How many states are still using it? Why are some states interested in firing squads and lowering the threshold to sentence someone to death? That's next. Did you
Did you make that call? Honey, we already have Medicare. Why do I need to call? Alan, the Feldman said we may be able to get additional benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan right here in our zip code with zero dollar monthly premiums. Honey, what do you mean additional benefits? We turned 65, we got Medicare. That's all there is to it, right? I'm talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. We have traditional Medicare, which is only Medicare Parts A and B, but not Part C. Wait. So not everyone on Medicare is a Part C plan? No, that's why we need to call because there may be plans available with additional benefits that aren't covered under Medicare Parts A and B. We don't have a Medicare Part C plan which covers everything in Part A and Part B plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. What kind of extra benefits? There are great plans that may be available with extra benefits like dental, vision, and hearing. Did you say dental? Yes, dental. Medicare Part C plans could include dental benefits that help cover routine dental exams and teeth cleanings, plus dental x-rays, fillings, gum disease treatment, and dentures. We need that. I'm calling. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B, like routine dental coverage. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you called last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. Remember, you don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically. Call now now for your free 2023 no obligation Medicare benefits review. Call 800-817-7602. 800-817-7602. There's a better way to begin your mornings. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Rush. On the stories that will shape each day. There's a new study that might make you feel a little bit better. So you can get on with yours. Morning Rush. Weekday morning starting at 7, 6 central. Only on Scripps News. Welcome back to Scripps News Live. Great to see you today. It's now 30 minutes after the hour on this Monday. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. Time now to get you caught up on the day's top story, starting in Alabama, where police have been urging people to come forward with any information about a shooting that killed four people and wounded 28 others. It happened at a 16th birthday party on Saturday night at a dance studio in Dadeville, Alabama. Police have not said if the suspect is in custody or if a motive is yet known. President Biden again calling on Congress to enact gun safety measures. And then in Missouri, Kansas City Police, they're investigating whether the shooting of a 16-year-old black teenager was racially motivated. Police say a homeowner shot Ralph Yarl twice when he went to the wrong address to pick up his siblings. The homeowner was taken into custody and then released 24 hours later. Authorities say that they need a formal statement from Yarl and more forensic evidence. Yarl is still in critical condition. In a speech at the New York Stock Exchange, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is vowing to raise the nation's debt ceiling, but only if future federal spending is capped at 1%. He's been criticizing President Biden for refusing to negotiate to head off a debt crisis. Republicans haven't offered a budget-cutting proposal. The White House dismissed McCarthy's remarks, saying, quote, a speech is not a plan. Well, access to the abortion pill mifeprestone is still in legal limbo at this legal limbo at this hour. The drug is used in more than half of all abortions in the United States and is still on the market right now. A Texas federal judge's ruling would have revoked its FDA authorization last Friday, but the Supreme Court put a hold on the ruling until Wednesday. Scripps News correspondent Alexa Liaco explains why for us. Less than a year after the Dobbs decision reversed Roe versus Wade, more than a dozen states have banned or restricted abortions. In those states, abortions have decreased by 95%. And now, a ruling by a U.S. District Court judge in Texas could take this issue right back to the Supreme Court. The judge in Texas made a ruling to take abortion pill mifepristone off the market. He ruled the FDA violated federal rules by approving mifepristone, saying the FDA's initial approval of the drug was flawed because the agency did not adequately review safety risks. The safety profile on this drug uh, is good, if not better, than when it was originally reviewed because now it's been out in the marketplace. It's been used on some... Uh, 5 million um, patients, 
and so it has been extraordinarily well studied. For context, the drug has been approved for the past 23 years, and in 2020, it was used in more than half of abortions. That's according to the Guttmacher Institute. For now, an appeals court stopped the drug from being taken off the market. In the meantime, the Department of Justice and President Biden asked the Supreme Court to step in. Justices are expected to announce their decision to either keep the ruling on hold or to let it take effect by Wednesday. I think it's outrageous what the court has done relative to concluding that they're going to overrule the FDA whether it's going to be or not. I think it's out of their main. And, uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. Adding to the uncertainty, a separate federal judge in Washington said Thursday the FDA cannot block mifepristone's availability in 17 Democrat-led states suing to keep it on the market. New York state lawmakers say they will now stockpile the drug. So what does this mean for women? If the Supreme Court does not choose to act after Wednesday, doctors will be instructed to only prescribe mifepristone up to seven weeks of pregnancy, even though the FDA currently says the drug is approved for use up to 10 weeks. And women would be required to attend three in-person office visits to receive a medication abortion. And as Americans wait to hear from the Supreme Court, more states are working to pass legislation to limit abortions. You guys can start cheering, right? Florida passed a new, more restrictive six-week abortion ban. Governor Ron DeSantis signed it within hours. It's called the Heartbeat Protection Act, and it bans abortions after six weeks, with an exception to save the life of the pregnant woman. However, that exception requires written authorization from two different doctors. There's also exceptions for rape, incest, and human trafficking. In those cases, abortions are allowed up to 15 weeks. The other exception? for a fatal fetal abnormality that allows abortions any time in the first or second trimester. But this six-week ban is on hold, even though it's been signed into law, until the state Supreme Court decides whether or not to uphold a 15-week abortion ban. If that ban is deemed unconstitutional, the six-week ban is out as well. In this complicated legal battle, doctors urge women to speak up if they need help and to not be scared into silence by the legal back and forth. Patients and providers shouldn't be panicking day to day, trying to figure out what the law is today and how it's going to change tomorrow. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's causing a lot of confusion and chaos. Opening statements in the Dominion voting system defamation lawsuit against Fox News have been delayed until tomorrow. They were set for this morning, but the judge issued a delay without giving a reason. Dominion says that Fox defamed the company by spreading false claims that Dominion rigged the 2020 election to prevent President Trump's re-election. Records in the suit show many Fox executives and hosts didn't believe these allegations, but they made them on television anyway. Potential presidential candidate Ron DeSantis will make a high-profile visit to Washington tomorrow. The Florida governor's push to make it easier to sentence someone to death has been attracting attention in the criminal justice system. Scripps News correspondent Joe St. George takes a closer look at the growing drive to change the rules when it comes to the death penalty. Across the country, a trend is happening. Fewer executions in fewer states. Look at this map. 37 states have either abolished the death penalty or have not carried out an execution in at least 10 years. But in those select states where executions are still occurring, there's a unique movement happening. Some want to make it easier to sentence someone to death, while in other states, there's a push to change the way individuals are executed. And nowhere is the debate greater right now than in the state of Florida, where the state legislature just passed a bill lowering the threshold for capital punishment. For years in Florida, the jury must be unanimous. The new legislation would get rid of that requirement. The proposal that passed last week makes an 8-4 to four vote sufficient enough. For years, only these three states allowed a death sentence when the jury isn't unanimous. In Indiana and Missouri, a judge can decide when a jury's divided in Alabama, the jury can vote 10 to 2. I think it's justified. Max Schachter welcomes the idea. He lost his son Alex in the Parkland school attack, one of 17 people murdered. The shooter in that 2018 massacre was given a life sentence and not a death sentence because the jury could not reach a unanimous decision. If the Parkland murderer who hunted down children and staff and shot them from down the hall did not deserve the death penalty, 
then why do we even have the death penalty? At the D.C.-based Death Penalty Information Center, a research group critical of the way the penalty is applied, staffers say what is happening in Florida goes against the trend of fewer executions. This is somewhat of a step backward. Executive Director Richard Dieter says the reason so many state governments enacted a unanimous threshold was to eliminate any doubt the person may be innocent. Innocent people had been discovered on death row. How many people have been sentenced to death and then were later freed. 191 people since 1973. Florida isn't the only state making news regarding the death penalty process. Idaho's Republican Governor Brad Little signed legislation last month making the state the fifth in the country to allow execution by firing squad when lethal injection drugs are unavailable. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington. Coming up next on Scripps News Live, a wet winter has improved drought conditions in California, but it's been putting farmers in a difficult situation. Coming up next, we're going to take you to a farming community that's been dealing with the impact. Are you or a loved one between the ages of 50 to 80 years old? If you are younger than 80 years old, do you receive Social Security, Disability, or Medicare? If you answered yes, you may qualify for $30,000 in funeral insurance for only pennies a day. The average funeral costs around $11,000, and Social Security only pays $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to see if you qualify for $30,000 in funeral expense coverage from Senior Legacy Life. Your rate will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease, and there is no medical exam, even even if you have a free existing disease or illness. Don't be a financial burden to your family. Lock in your rate by completing an application over the phone right now. Will you qualify for funeral insurance up to $30,000 for only pennies a day? Find out by calling Senior Legacy Life. Call 1-800-300-5808 to speak with a licensed insurance agent. That's 1-800-300-5808. Every detail counts. That's why I live my life with Lexi B2 hearing aids powered by Bose. I value quality, cutting edge tech, and performance. When I began experiencing hearing loss, I knew I needed the best of the best. Lexi B2 hearing aids powered by Bose are app controlled and self-fitting, which means I can tune and customize them to my needs and preferences on the Lexi app and enjoy high quality hearing. No appointment necessary. From ordering my first pair online, to front door delivery and the secure, discreet fit. Lexi B2 hearing aids powered by Bose offer quality, convenience, and exceptional customer support at every step in my journey. If you're ready to elevate to the next level with world-class hearing, take the lead and call or order online at LexiHearing.com to receive your Lexi B2 hearing aids powered by Bose today. Call 800-461-0637 today to find out how you can get your Lexis at 80% less than prescription hearing aid prices. Do you spend hours maintaining your gutters? Save that time with LeafGuard's maintenance-free system. Call 1-833-2-GUTTERS. Mesh filters sit on top of your gutters, building up debris and eventually clogging. Then they need to be cleaned too. Honestly, your home should have been built with LeafGuard gutters. LeafGuard's wraparound hood deflects debris and keeps water away from your home. The one-piece seamless system is strong, 20% thicker than average, and built to last. Plus, LeafGuard is guaranteed to never clog for as long as you own your home. Right now, get a complete LeafGuard system for only $99 down, $99 a month, and $99 installation. You'll also receive a $100 Visa gift card with a free gutter inspection and in-home estimate. Damage from clogged gutters can cost you thousands. Never worry about clogged gutters again. Don't wait. You've still got time. Call 1-833-2-GUTTERS today. That's 1-833-2-GUTTERS. Attention firefighters, first responders, military base personnel, and airport workers. Listen closely to this important legal announcement. Have you been exposed to chemical-based firefighting foam? If so, you may be entitled to a substantial cash award without going to court. For decades, aqueous film forming foam, or AFFF, has been used to extinguish liquid fuel fires. A scientific study has now shown that the chemicals used to make AFFF are highly toxic to humans and can cause a significant risk of developing several types of cancer 
cancer, including kidney, pancreatic, thyroid, prostate, bladder, testicular, liver, or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. If you or a loved one are a firefighter, first responder, airport worker, or member of the military that has used firefighting foam and has been diagnosed with cancer, please call the Negligence Network to file your claim today. There's no fee unless we win your case. Call the Negligence Network to see if you're eligible for substantial compensation. Call 1-800-300-4858. That's 1-800-300-4858. Welcome back to Scripps News Live. In California, there is some good news and some bad news. Good news, most of California is no longer experiencing extreme drought. That's following an abnormally wet winter. But the bad news, it's been causing problems for some farming communities. National correspondent Chris Stewart went to Central California to take a closer look at the impact. Where we're standing right now, it might honestly look like a desert, but this is a strawberry field, uh, which is a major cash crop for this part of California. Heavy flooding came through earlier this year, and it just brought this thick layer of mud. This is the time of year where farmers typically are picking their crop to be able to go and sell them, but this one, this is a total loss. Clear skies don't signal the end to a weather disaster. It's easy to see that here in Pajaro, California. In March, a nearby river breached a levee after days of heavy rainfall and put much of this small farming town underwater. And so this was a bedroom, and uh, there was beds, and those were ruined. So this is, you know, just all ruined. The floodwaters may have receded, but it's hard not to see the emotional toll they've taken on people like Avelia Martinez. I'm a doer, and um, I can physically do it, but financially, there's I don't have the money to do that. I don't have the money to go buy all this sheetrock and insulation and reinforce all these beams. I don't have that money. The space she rented out behind her home to make money as she goes to school full-time is now gutted. Her most recent tenants were farm workers. Pajaro is an affordable haven for those who do the backbreaking, often minimum wage work of picking crops. Many are undocumented. FEMA is now here, but those without a social security number or a child born in the U.S. don't qualify. And it's throughout this whole town that um, a lot of people are scared if they're undocumented, even just to speak up. And that's why the word doesn't get out. And, you know, everything just goes, everybody thinks it goes back to normal, but it doesn't. The flooding here, this event has highlighted all the, the lack of a social safety net for this area. Eloy Ortiz has been trying to help farm workers, many of whom lost everything they own. Organizations have been great about giving out food and clothes and toys and things like that, but none of that will pay the rent here. He worries this disaster, along with the climate uncertainty of a region which dealt with record dry conditions until this year, will force workers to go somewhere else to make money. If they leave California, if they leave this area, it's gonna have a huge ripple effect on the rest of the country. He says since the flooding, work has been hard to find. So right now we don't have the the berries available, see? Like many farmers here, strawberries are polyurena's main crop. He says this is typically the best time of year to sell them, but the recent wet weather has put him a month behind. You wouldn't expect it this kind of weather. See, for, for us, we have some years that uh, we didn't have any rain at all, you know. California produces roughly 90% of our nation's strawberries. The California Strawberry Commission, which represents growers across the state, told me the climate issues here shouldn't impact the prices we pay. But for Urena, losing this month is a major blow. He says soon more kinds of fruit like blackberries and raspberries will be in season. And that's when he says his strawberry sales typically cool off. How much are you expecting this to impact your your business for this year? Uh, I would say probably we're going to lose at least at least uh, half of our income. Half of your income? Yeah. Wow. What we expect above all with climate changes is extremes. 
right? Climate change is a threat multiplier and it's it's making storms bigger, it's making you know the dries drier and the wets wetter. I sat down with Nancy Falstick, who leads a local nonprofit trying to bring awareness to the impacts of climate change in communities like this one where resources are limited. You know, that attention may go elsewhere in the country, but people are gonna be living with this. Soon flood recovery will turn to preparation for wildfire season. With the climate concerns, I mean, do, do you ever consider leaving? No, I haven't considered leaving. That has not been a thought of mine, just because I have faith that something will work out. I, I'm always hopeful. I don't give up easy. So, um, but it's getting very hard not to give up. But I, I don't, I love this area, I love this community. A community those here tell us more people should take notice of as they live on what they say is the front lines of climate change in America. Chris Stewart, Scripps News, Pajaro, California. And still ahead on Scripps News Live, SpaceX's Starship rocket still on the launch pad right now. Coming up after a quick break, we're going to explain why the company scrubbed this morning's launch and if and when they're going to try and try again. Plus this. I'm John Matteris. Do you have a couple of old phones sitting in a junk drawer or a laptop tucked away somewhere at home? Don't throw them away. We have some better things you can do with those old devices coming up. Hi, I'm Kirk Heiser. And did you know the average funeral costs around $10,000? And if you don't have enough insurance to cover funeral costs, credit card debt, and other expenses, your family is going to get stuck with the bill. Don't let that happen. Call right now. And if you're over 50, you can get up to $30,000 in affordable life insurance, and your acceptance is guaranteed. That's right. If you're over 50, you can't be turned down for this insurance, regardless of your health. Plus, there's no medical exam and... No health questions. Your rate will never go up. Your coverage will never go down. And rates start as low as $5 a week. Your coverage begins as soon as your application is received. Don't wait until it's too late. Just call 800-379-8435. Coverage is guaranteed regardless of your health and cannot be canceled without your approval. Don't leave your family with a huge bill for your funeral. With one fast and easy call, get up to $30,000 in affordable life insurance to help cover funeral expenses and credit card debt, and maybe even leave something for your kids and your grandkids. Remember, if you're over 50, you can't be turned down regardless of your health. There's no medical exam and no health questions. Best of all, your rates start as low as $5 a week, and your rate will never increase. Nothing is more important than family. So don't leave them with a lot of bills to pay when you're gone. Don't leave your family with a lot of bills to pay for your funeral. Call right now. Acceptance is guaranteed. Call right now. Call now. 800-379-8435. That's 800-379-8435. Attention all business owners. If you had W-2 employees during the COVID-19 pandemic, you may be entitled to up to $26,000 per employee with the Employee Retention Tax Credit. The deadline to file your claims is approaching. Call now to see if your business qualifies. This approved payroll tax refund program from the U.S. Treasury Department is set up to reward business owners who kept employees on payroll during the pandemic. There is no limit on the amount of funding. Plus, you can get access to your cash in a matter of weeks. You want a trusted partner who understands the IRS guidelines. ERC experts are standing by to help your business claim your COVID refund. You may be entitled to up to $26,000 per employee. This quick and easy call can get your business the money it deserves. Don't miss the deadline to file your claims. Just call 800-360-1106. That's 800-360-1106. This is a show with range in the know. Today, we're going to talk about crypto in the now. Wild world of online real estate in the next. Weaponized robots are truly becoming a thing in our military. In the loop. Tonight at 9, 8 central, only on Scripps News. 
Hey there, welcome back. SpaceX has scrubbed its giant Starship rocket launch this morning, which means what? They're gonna try, try again on Wednesday. Officials had to call off the launch due to a problem with the first stage booster, but they've been saying that they have some pretty big goals for the Starship. They wanna use the rocket to send astronauts and cargo to the moon and then eventually to Mars. People nor satellites will be on board Wednesday's launch, and we will, of course, be watching. And in other news, you probably have a couple of older models of these lying around the house. Old tech gadgets which have been sitting around doing nothing but collecting dust. So instead of tossing them in the trash, consumer reporter John Matteris found that there are better options out there. Ones that could actually put some money in your pocket and help the environment at the same time. Do you have an old laptop buried at home? How about an old smartphone sitting in your junk drawer? Well, rather than just throwing them away, there may be better things to do with those old tech devices. Friends Carol Lawrence and Susan Sipple have updated smartphones now, but at home... Five phones, flip phones, too. They've got old phones stashed away. It sits there and collects dust, and then you add another and another, and yeah. when you turn around, you have seven phones like I did. That's what Alex Hausfeld refers to as the tech graveyard that everyone seems to have. It's either a shoebox or a closet or a junk drawer. Alex says the last thing to do with old devices is to toss them in the trash. Because of the harmful chemicals that can be released into the environment, whether it's burned or it goes into a landfill. Instead, he says, repurpose old devices, like using old smartphones as security cameras. Baby monitors are another one. Or sell a device. Just make sure it's wiped clean. Make sure all of your personal information is off of it. Alex manages a You Break, I Fix by Assurian store, which partners with Samsung to help customers recycle their tech for free. Anything from phones, um, chargers, old chargers, old cables, batteries. Mark Williams, the head of customer care with Samsung, says parts are reused when possible or disposed of properly. When a device breaks down, Mark also suggests you repair it rather than replace it. If you want to stretch your dollars, you can keep your device in a year or two longer by just getting it fixed and it, it'll perform like it did when you first got it. One last option for old devices, our friends Susan and Carol say, why not donate? If it can help somebody else, then that's what we should do. So recycle, sell, repair, or repurpose, and that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Don't forget to update your phone. Yeah, those software updates are important. I learned the hard way. Coming up next on Scripps News Live, we're going to explain how these baseball players have been using their skills on the diamond to make a positive impact in their community. I'll be right back. At Omaha Steaks, we do burgers differently. We take a premium aged steak like this and turn it into a pure ground burger like this. So this is actually a ribeye. This is a New York strip, top sirloin, beef brisket, and this, this is a filet mignon. For a limited time, our Burger Perfection flight comes with 20 big, juicy burgers, all for just $79.99, plus free shipping. Get it today at omahasteaks.com slash TV. This is Burger Perfection, guaranteed. Bonobos presents A Course in Style with Justin Rose. Justin Rose, champion golfer with a champion swing. How does he do it? Let's take a closer look. Is it his flawless form? Elite balance? Consistent accuracy? Yes. And also, those pants. Give me a little more of those pants, will you? Style. Comfort. A great fit. These babies can do it all. Wherever your tour takes you. everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Bellich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person Person. He'll answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. 
many baseball leagues to Major League Baseball. Well, it's that time of the year again. In Tennessee, a group of special needs players has been sharing their love of the game in order to inspire others. Aaron Kentrell takes us to the diamond and shares their story. There's nothing like a game of baseball to bring a community together. It's an American favorite. You can't go wrong. Everybody wants to win when it comes to a game, but have fun. Let the kids experience this. We've got four teams and a little over, I think it's 35 participants. In this league, there are no losers. And this is the, um, the most fun of a baseball game that you'll ever see. Just winners. Oh, come on, baby, do this. We want everybody to feel included, everybody to have that opportunity. Oh. An opportunity a lot of these players hardly ever get. You look around and God loves diversity because he certainly gave us enough different people. You have some kids with that's autistic. You have some kids that are uh, have Down syndrome. Good job, go Charity! This is the second year an opening game for the Buddies League. People with special needs get to experience what many of us take for granted. Usually there's nothing for special needs kids to do, and this is the first thing that they've ever done to where he can participate in something. This is a place where we have like-minded parents. We can get together and share our lives with each other in this moment. Michelle Pentecost's adopted son, James Ford. It's the best gift I've ever been given. He's my everything. He's the oldest member in this league, 65. Uh, echo lay is usually where the person will repeat the last thing that someone says. Players are teamed up with buddies to help them navigate the game. And the enjoyment the players get out of it, well, it's priceless. They get to interact more and come out of their shell more. And they get to talk with their friends and they look forward to seeing other people. It just makes them feel like, you know what I mean, like they can do stuff that, you know, any other kid can do. There we go. In baseball. There are tons of lessons to learn. Every game, every pitch is important. Every field has the possibility of making a story that evening. The one being told here, everyone is special. Everyone has their own abilities, and you get to see them flourish. In Springfield, I'm Erin Kentrell reporting. Very cool. Thank you so much for watching Scripps News Live. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. If you like